the Yankees can close a deal with Diamondback to solve their vacant left field position. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening my friends I do not know what time you watch us, but before we start I ask that you subscribe to the channel and leave your like. The Yankees can close a deal with Diamondback to solve the left field position. The New York Yankees are still waiting patiently to solve their vacant left field position. With Michael Conforto signing a two-year contract with the San Francisco Giants, all the major free agents are out of the game, leaving the trade market as the prime suspect for general manager Brian Cashman. Max Kepler of the Minnesota Twins and Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates stand out as the top two options, but the Arizona Diamondbacks have also emerged as a potential trade partner. The Yankees have contacted Arizona regarding their outfielders, primarily Jake McCarthy and Alec Thomas. According to Ken Rosenthal, the Diamondbacks want a right-handed player in exchange for a left-handed outfield bat. The Yankees have the trade capital to make a deal happen. We know the Yankees have a player who fits perfectly with what the Diamondbacks are looking for in Glaber Torres, but he has more value than some of the outfielders Arizona is trying to part with. McCarthy, 25, is a left-handed hitter coming off his rookie season with Arizona in 2022. He hit .283 with a 34.2% on base rate, 8 home runs, and 43 RBIs. He batted .215, earning a walk rate of 6.5%, but his average exit velocity of 87.4 suggests that there may be some hidden power in his game. In fact, McCarthy is ranked in the 98th percentile in sprint speed and throws the ball exceptionally well around the field. He is certainly a contact hitter who can extrapolate on Yankee Stadium's short right field porch. However, he can be a defensive problem as he is in the 17th percentile in outfielder bounce and 28th percentile in arm strength. He threw 242.2 innings last season in left field for the Diamondbacks, recording a perfect fielding percentage with minus one defensive runs saved above average. The Bombers are probably looking for a hitter who can hit double-digit home runs in left field next season, so McCarthy is probably not the perfect fit unless they want a speedster who gets on base and opens up opportunities for other power hitters in the lineup. Andrew Benintendi was an exception, as he can hit double-digit home runs, but McCarthy has too many weaknesses to warrant as a starter the Yankees are better off starting with Oswaldo Cabrera. Alternatively, they could look in the direction of Alec Thomas, a 22-year-old entering his second season. Unfortunately, he was terrible in 2022, playing 113 games and hitting .231 with a 27.5% on-base rate. He posted a 71 WRC+, plus, but could rebound after posting much more productive numbers in AAA. Thomas is another contact hitting specialist who won't hit a ton of long balls at the MLB level. Defensively, he threw 907.1 innings in center field for the Diamondbacks, posting a .991 fielding percentage with six defensive runs saved and six above-average strikeouts. Neither McCarthy nor Thomas fit the mold for what Cashman is looking for, so I would expect him to pursue Kepler more aggressively, as he has untapped power, having hit 36 home runs in 2019. He can only get on base at a 32% clip, but he is a stellar defensive player and ranks well in the power department. We have reached the end of another video, my friends. I ask you to please leave your like and subscribe to the channel, hug and stay with God.